Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my appearance, it is 9.50 p.m. on a Thursday night and I've had a very rough week, but I really wanted to film this video because I am doing things, I'm trying to do more things that make me happy and filming videos definitely makes me happy. So I wanted to do a video that is a video I love watching, but not one that I've done on this new channel before. And it doesn't really have to do with medicine, it is a favorite things video. So things that are making me happy right now, things that I'm enjoying, um, and I wanted to share them with you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump in. So first we're gonna start with like beauty and self-care products. And I'll try to link everything below that I can find so you guys have easy access to it. But in terms of beauty and self-care, the first thing I wanna talk about is this Olaplex um, hair strengthener thing um this thing is awesome i like was always like oh i'm never gonna buy that like i don't really do anything to my hair like i don't blow dry my hair i wash it once a week like i'm like i don't care it's under a scrub cap most of the time but this thing makes such a difference my hair like doesn't tangle as much again i literally haven't washed it in like a week but it's so much softer and smoother and less frizzy and it's amazing so i use this i have no idea how you're supposed to use it i like shampoo my hair to get all the gross oil out and then i put this on for 10 minutes and like get out of the shower and then like rinse it out after 10 minutes and then put conditioner on amazing really really highly recommend we'll be buying a lot of this next is this keels eye cream this is the vitamin c dark circle diminishing eye cream again second year of residency is like bleh um on call every other night and so i use this and i think it helps even though i have terrible dark circles right now i should put some on but um I really do like this stuff. A little goes a long way and I just put it under my eyes and it makes me at least feel slightly less tired. Next is this replica by the fireplace perfume. This is actually a new box because I just finished my old one. Um, this stuff smells so good. It smells like it's like smoky and like kind of rich. Like I don't really like a lot of light floral scents um i really like like the smoky like kind of unisex scents and this stuff is amazing i love it um it makes me feel very luxurious and very like nice for the winter um so really really big fan of this my friend amelia actually turned me on to this stuff and i really really like it next are these um like plastic hair ties i know everyone's using silk hair ties now which maybe i'll start maybe i need to change over to that but I'm a really big fan of these plastic hair ties. This one's a little stretched out, but I've been using it for like probably a month and it still works. Um, these last forever. They're really, really great. They never break. Like the old ones that I used to use are like the, just the regular like hair ties that you think of when you think of hair ties. I think these like kind of look better on the wrist, even though again, this one's really stretched out, but like look a little bit better on the wrist or a little more low key. They don't like kink your hair as much like the old ones. Um, I just really like these and I've, I'm a huge convert to them. So I can use one for like literally a month, more than a month, like until I lose them. Um, so I really, really like these. They're pretty cheap on Amazon, but maybe I'll try silk hair ties if you guys recommend it, but I really like these. Next are scented candles. I've been really getting into this brand Boy Smells recently. I started with this slow burn one, which is the Casey Musgraves candle, which again is like a smoky, like like rich scent like a library it smells so good and then i saw this one the cypress stack which is also so good um and i just think that the packaging's really cool like i actually this is my second boy smells candle and i like once i was finished with it like rinsed it out and use it as a little like dish to hold old coins in but like i think it looks nice on a counter um but like every night I'll light this even for a little bit. Like I don't care about tunneling candles, all that jazz. Like I'll light it just for a little bit and just like do like even five minutes of self care. Like which is honestly all I have time for a lot of the time, but it just like relaxes me and gets me in the zone. And I get, I really like them and having a nice scent. It even like smells good when you're not burning it. It just makes the room smell good. So I really like this brand. Finally in self care is this gel manicure set it's really um messy but my friend told me to get this at the beginning of the pandemic when like people weren't going to get their nails done anymore and i literally have not gotten my nails professionally done since the beginning of the pandemic so like what is that two years now i don't even know um 
but I have like this gel manicure set. This is the light. And then I have like a base coat and then all these colors. Like this is the color I'm wearing right now. It's like a dark green. I need to redo it. But I have all these colors. Um, and then there's like a top coat and a base coat. Um, I really like it. Obviously I'm not a professional and these last me like two and a half weeks max. I also use my hands a lot, obviously. Um, but it's just fun. Like I enjoy doing my own nails. Again, it's like a little bit of a self care thing. Um, I've saved so much money. Like this was like 40 bucks and I've saved so much money on going to get my nails done and I can do it in my spare time. Like it's really nice and fun and I really enjoy it. So this was a great investment. The brand is this brand Beatles. Um, I just got it off Amazon and then you can order like the colors you want or like just sets of colors that you like. That is it for self-care. Now I'm gonna do like a brief foray into food and food adjacent stuff. So the first, very niche, but they're these creamy mint sticks. This is again an unopened package. This is my third package. Um, this is from Candy Kitchen, which is like a candy store in Rehoboth Beach. I don't know if they're anywhere else, but at least I know they're in Rehoboth Beach, which is where I got these. These are like melt in your mouth mint sticks. Like they melt in your mouth. The texture is amazing. They're so good. They're not like super heavy and super sweet. I mean, they're really sweet. They're candy, but like they don't make you feel like you're eating like a ton of heavy candy. Like they're refreshing. The texture is amazing. I am obsessed with them. I have like a couple every night, like a small handful. Um, they're so good. And I'm sure you can find like, if you just Google like creamy mint sticks, they probably are from all these different brands, but I just found them at Candy Kitchen. I love them. Next is seltzer. I don't really like drink on the weeknights unless I'm going out or like doing going to dinner or something, but I will have a seltzer as like my wind down drink every night. Um, the Trader Joe's seltzers are kind of my favorite. These are the two I'm like alternating between now. This one is blueberry lemonade and this one is raspberry lime. Um, they also have really good Trader Joe's. There's one that's like cranberry lime and one that's blood orange. Both of those are really good. And then I used to drink these all all the time. I don't know if you remember, they, they used to sell these at Starbucks in like middle and high school. And I used to drink these all the time. And my mom recently bought them and we were over there for Christmas and I tried them and I was like, these are really good. These have more sugar than these. These don't have any sugar. These have like 27 grams of sugar. So it, it's a lot of sugar. It's like a soda, but you can mix them together and kind of water it down and it's really good. And it's just, again, like it's like a ritual, except I don't want to drink alcohol. So I drink these and it makes me feel slightly fancy. Next kind of food adjacent item is these glass straws. I saw this other girl I really like on YouTube posting about them. Um, but they're these just like, I use metal straws all the time. That's like what I drink my Diet Coke out of. Sometimes I'll use them in seltzer, just water. Like I love drinking out of straws, but she was comparing these big glass ones to like the McDonald's Diet Coke or like the McDonald's straws, which I always think of when I'm drinking Diet Coke. And I love it. I love like how thick and big in diameter they are. Um, they haven't broken. Like my boyfriend was like, those are just going to break. They haven't broken. I put them through the dishwasher. Like I really, really like them and they're nice and long. So they fit in like my big water bottle and they still stick out the top so I can drink out of them. Highly recommend these. Last, we are moving on to two clothing items and a home item. The clothing items, I wear scrubs every single day. So I'm not really dressing up much. Um, so these are kind of like accessory items and then the home items. So the first clothing item, our socks. These are the Bombas, just like little ankle socks. And let me tell you, I did not realize that socks could be like a luxury item that I enjoy putting on every day. Luxury item. These are the best socks. They're so thick, but they're like tight and they fit to your foot. And they, I truly feel like they're giving me like arch support. They're thick. They're like fitted to your foot. They're like squishy. Like they're so nice to step on. I have so many pairs of these now that I've just collected and I asked for them for like Christmas, like everything. I love these socks. Next clothing item is this Aritzia vest. I'll put it on for you. Um, this is their like super puff vest version that I am absolutely obsessed with. My boyfriend bought me 
one of these vests for my birthday last year, but he bought me a floor length vest. It's like an ankle length puffer coat, but without sleeves. And I was like, I will not wear this. It's not practical. If I'm cold enough that I want a floor length vest, I also want sleeves. So I returned it with his permission and I bought this like blue puffer vest that is so warm. I wear it way more than I thought I would. It's like so comfortable. I washed it, like I put it in the washing machine and it still is like very fluffy. I like dried it a little bit and like fluffed it up. Um, I really like this thing and I love the color. I love how bright it is. Like it's not just like a plain black vest. I'm re I really, really like this thing. I'm thinking of getting like an actual puffer now not a floor length one because i don't need that although it did snow here um but like just like a regular puffer because they're so comfortable and like pretty lightweight which was nice i was noticing the difference between like my heavy like fur lined winter coat and this and like the puffers are so lightweight it's actually really really nice so i might consider getting that final thing is this blanket um this is from a company called chappy wrap which i've like gotten hardcore targeted instagram ads for um it's really really thick and heavy and like fleece and it's so warm and it's huge i don't think i can show you how big it is it's really really big um and i really really like this it's just like very chic but very warm but it like looks good laying on the edge of my bed um, and I layer up and layer up with blankets and I can never have too many blankets. And I just like really like this one. It's, it's not like one of those like lightweight, really fuzzy ones that you see everywhere. It's like heavy, which is really nice. So yeah, that's it. Those are kind of the things I've been enjoying lately. Um, thank you for watching this. It's, I know it's not medical content, but I really enjoy doing these. And I thought I would tell you guys what has made me feel happy these days. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe. That would mean a lot to me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.